My name is Terry Cannon and I'm a visual artist and I use all kinds of mixed media and mostly make art out of junk. I call myself a self-taught artist because I didn't have a lot of formal training. I've lived in Chattanooga all my life. So I've seen a lot of changes in Chattanooga. I've seen a lot of changes in me. I feel like a lot of my best art comes by accident. I had no intentions of it ending up that way, but it's kind of that union with the creator, you know? You just know things without knowing them. You know, and it's such a fun place to be when you're in that zone. On my big collage crazy pieces, it starts with a big piece of metal. It starts with nothing. And then I'll just start grabbing stuff. Let me add this. Let me add a bicycle chain. Let me do this. And so I use high-end resins that bond real quick. I use those as my bonder. I knew from my earliest memories that I was put here to make art. And when I look back through photographs my parents took, I've always got a pen or a pencil or a crayon in my hand just drawing. Back then, I didn't know that art could lead to a career. I had to find out the hard way that that's what I was put here to do. And I tried to be other things, I tried to do other things, and there was always this empty spot inside of me. Until I was really in my 30s, and just, I had no other choice. I had to get this stuff out of me, and I had to use my creativity. So then I started making art just for me, just for my own pleasure. And then I had the courage from that, it kind of snowballed, let me go do some art shows. So I would apply to art shows and I would get out there, you know, and put my wares out on the street and hundreds of thousands of people would walk by and respond to my art. It was incredible, couldn't believe it. And I, I built on that. When I was willing to make that leap, that's when everything opened up. This is what I'm supposed to be doing in life. This is who I am. And it just all came together. A lot of times, you know, people say, what's your art like? What kind of art do you do? What kind of artist are you? The answer is, I don't know because it changes every day. When I first started, I didn't have a lot of money, so I would go find things. I would find things on the side of the road. I would find things in garbage cans. I would find things in dumpsters. I would find fallen trees and start carving those up into little creatures. And then the Creative Discovery Museum came to me and they are like, hey, we want you to be a part of this project. And I thought, I don't want to do this the way I normally do things. I want this to be different, better, bigger, over the top. So then I started doing these pieces with nothing but all these objects kind of in them. You know, and I thought, I don't know if people will like these, but it doesn't matter because I like them. It brings me joy. A lot of the materials that I use are intended to be used for other things. <laughs> and because I don't know what I'm doing, and because I've never learned to do things properly, I do them how I do them. I'll start with resin that dries super quick within five minutes, and I'll work little areas and just lay in buttons and little objects and all that real quickly, you know, so you don't have time to question anything. You don't have time to edit. You don't have time to erase. Bam! When I was building my art career and going all over the world doing art shows, you know, and my stuff was then whimsical and fun and spontaneous and kids would come up, look at my art and go, I can do that. It's like, yes, you know, that's the message I want to give people. You can do that. And if you're an artist, if you're a for real artist and that's what you were put here to do, you have no choice but to do that. Because if you're not doing it, you'll have that empty spot inside of you.